If you don't give up on America while getting shocked instead of dirty, and while helping to save the people of the Shingu, you don your rumpled raincoat to build a log cabin using horses and feel an elephant, holding on to the banister instead of the snake, boldly breastfeeding your baby while coolly fighting crime and appreciating roosters, then get propositioned by a virgin before paying a quarter for a good conversation, thinking it's all really swell and planning your next fun club meeting, you find a book of dark humor and be careful not to be safe while waiting for the train and remembering a puppet show, then think of how slime can get you rich and how aliens can talk and break a brick while getting subversive packages before talking with a movie actress while on acid, then smile at an Eskimo remembering how you won a contest and walked under a live camel after your son was hugged by a monster, relieved that the car turning in front of your motorcycle didn't kill you, but left you alive to propose to a girl you don't know and have the will to do what's right, to bring your tarantula to church and tell jokes while your stories are published in nudist magazines, to watch videos while the world's nations send you letters, while you're worried to death about your hitchhiking son missing in the snowy Rockies, eating your mustache with your food and taking offense at false accusations, having a poisonous lizard inside your coat and riding your bicycle over a cliff, then appreciating freedom after almost making a woman faint and carving a fork to eat tuna while thinking about death and how Tarzan was often naked and how confusing religion is as you wonder about the coin in your pocket and remember the harp player and your wife in the river while you play a one-string guitar off-key yet know how to speak with apes and enjoy listening to an organist in a turban, thankful of how a good deed had been done to a black man and that God allows us to wear clothes rather than commands, you finally ride in an ox cart before being caught in a marijuana field and visiting the dark side of the moon and taking LSD before getting letters from over a hundred hippies and finding your true destiny while writing poems and letters but receiving no medal, and you run for president having seen a UFO and getting kicked off the school bus, keeping the wonderful vision of your daughter dancing and an Indian fighting for you, constantly writing stories, telling of legal and illegal nudist camp visits, and the scorpion hidden in your, do in your child's clothing, so thankful that an angel telephoned you and that you learned the Lone Ranger's creed and laughing at how a mother terrorized her children before you drank that Arminian coffee after your daughter got her driver's license and before she graduated while being haunted by that explosion in Korea but consoled by vintage TV by the surprise your singing father-in-law gave you and the party and happy to know where the gold is hidden meanwhile winning bets with a coat hanger and cracking up at an insult being consoled by strangers and riding on pillowcases you then build bat houses and ride a vintage bicycle, enjoying the loss of privacy and the greetings from the attorney after the call from the sexy woman and before crying in church, so happy that you helped catch the burglar but not that you were knocked out playing football, remembering how you suckered a druggie and defied the postal service and passed the test you wanted to flunk, how the dogs bit you and you decided not to walk across America before you yelled at the cop and laughed at your little girl's history lesson, thinking about how a dysfunctional family could have such funny kids, and how good you feel to have fought for life and justice, yet hid in the army and received a letter from Dennis the Menace between hitchhiking across America a few times and creating comics and learning about pet camels and how to intermix animal species, wondering if, a dra if dragging an Indian travoy was harder than searching for a prostitute in Utah, but knowing that confronting a street gang is harder than both and that drowning might be the easiest way to die, overwhelmed with translating the Old Testament but delighted with the circus, you wonder how a guy who helped deliver his six children could be so influenced by Richard Kimball and name a song that makes some sense after a poem that makes no sense before learning that you must breathe in order to win a fight and that a Russian woman can recognize a piece of tile from ancient Pompeii and you remember the wonderful members of the Tarantula Club you founded and how you got away with murder until you gave up your gun at an airport wishing you had had that gun during the funeral home zombie scare before defending your nudist pictures in the army and before your niece saved you 
then remembering the three times you waded across the Platte River and talked with the owl, and how your duck followed you everywhere before you caused the big UFO scare and weighed your newborn baby in the supermarket's vegetable scale, how you got lost and a dog saved you before you fell in love and got married and knocked on the restroom wall, and how you shared a lifetime of pictures with the world and a letter from one hippie girl after you tricked a homosexual and after you sneaked into a nudist camp. But before you thought up funny commercials and wound up having your life story featured on the front page of your town newspaper the same week that your son's dedication to life was featured, while you reveled in reading every Pulitzer Prize winning fiction book published in your lifetime and telling people how easy it is to get ants out of their mailbox, warning the nation about China and Clinton and Obama after thinking up the greatest practical joke, so appreciative of your sister's generosity but not of your school's false teaching, while doing your best to explain to people how the Postal Service can be rescued after your speaking in Arabic and while showing off your yodeling pickle, you, you then get dizzy after adapting a story into a poem and sharing controversial ramblings and love poetry about your mother and you stick up for a courageous priest after having a scalpel wiggle in your head and wiggling a hot dog on your brother's head and baking bread because you were at a loss for words, remembering how more than 20,000 hippies came to your little hometown and how your nightmares turned into nice dreams and that you gave your knife to a killer for him to kill you with and how your son disappeared into the earth and that scariest campfire story ever and how you enjoy Washington State and the adventure of traveling, feeling good about having told people how to care for their pet tarantulas and how to play the funnest game ever and catch mice alive and know about your favorite car, but not the one you painted 631 daisies on, and remembering how the prostitute you lived with died before you ran down zero tolerance and reminisced about communion and liberation, and besides your poetry, you shared a poem about a former Miss Washington universe with your tarantula on her shoulder and how you disobeyed an army sergeant but are willing to forgive your first sergeant and how people loved your dad and how you do, knowing the best way to fight and how in a federal prison you felt safer with the prisoners than with the guards, wanting so badly to have been a lefse folder but feeling akin to so many animals remembering the first girl you ever kissed and how angels can appear as homeless people, how your wife breastfed in public and rolled with you and your toddler upside down in a semi-truck, and the little girl in a health food store wanted hugs and kisses, and you remember running away at three, and your father dying and a hermit aiming a shotgun at you, and how a man who was going to murder a woman turned to chase you instead, and how you got tongue-tied years after making a fool out of a macho man with your rubber squid, but realizing you're not as charismatic as you think, although you made the right choice religiously and had a Sasquatch scare the hell out of your dog, then you should have no doubt that you've simply visited the Butterrum cartoon.